Hey everyone, it is Diane here from Deco Easy. Thank you for stopping by to watch our video. I'm going to show you my home for the fall season. I hope you are just enthusiastic as I am. I hope you enjoy. Uh, let's jump in and I will show you how I've decorated my home for the fall season this year. So this is the hallway in my home this autumn season. Let me tell you a little something about the items which you see in the video. Well, here I have a vase, which I have for such a long time, and I decorate it uh, with some seasonal items each year, for each season, of course. It has multiple lights here down below, and here there are some leaves, some berries, you know, in the color schedule, red, orange, brown, typical autumn colors. And up here, I have a lantern decorated with... Oh, let me hold the light a little bit more there. You can see properly without reflecting. I'll have to go up here. I have really cute stone hedgehog and a stone squirrel together with a decorative apple and some leaves. And here are some, yeah, how do you call these things? I have no idea actually, um, with a really soft fabric which are in the perfect color as uh, pillow covers and blankets. Here is a red pillow cover. I really, this was such a coincidence. I found these at a garden center where we come really often. The wreath here in the back, that is a wreath, that green thing here, uh, comes from the same store. They have great prices and yeah, the, the colors of the fabric on these items, which I forgot the name of, please help me out in the comment section <laughs> so I know it for next time, have exactly the same color as you can see here on the red pillowcase. And also have orange items, uh, you know, a little bit more rusty orange, actually. And as you can see, the wreath in the back has also start, tiny spots of orange, so that matches in perfectly with other items. This is a standard IKEA lamp, which I leave there every season with a sparkling tree on the left and here I have some more apples, leaves and a really cute small mushroom made out of stone. I have it for multiple years but I take it out each year because I think those things are so good to have on your basics. So that is on top of the wardrobe I believe. I have no idea how you call this thing. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get down again. Okay we just went up there and now we're going down here to the wall. I hope that the light is good. I have some problems with the light. I'm really sorry for that. Um, these are four canvas frames, which I turned into one big painting. And I used cardboard jars with some uh, plastic artificial flowers. And I put some texts upon them, which I just found on the internet. This one is a little bit harder to see. I hope we can light up with the light a little bit better. Sorry for the ugly colors now. Oh, this one is difficult. There we go. Thankful, grateful, blessed. This is Oh My Girl, I Love Fall. So, that is basically the whole way for this season. And going down there on the left, I have a basket where I store mittens and stuff like that with just two colors of pillows. The pillow covers you just saw, by the way, were from Action. And that is coincidence because I had the red ones I had. I think for two or three years now, the orange ones just came to the store. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit on my mirror. This is a pumpkin, which I got from Danielle's decor years ago. So are the orange branches at the back. The leaves are also old ones from Action, but the ribbon you see here is the same uh, red stuff that I bought from the garden center, which you just saw at the wardrobe. And I have some more decorative apples. These leaves are new too. Hey, that's me. Hi. <laughs> These leaves are new too. So yeah, with just some lights in there, they look fantastic. The mirror I bought at, uh, what do you call that? Uh, I have no idea what's wrong with me today. <laughs> I forgot all the words. A uh, thrift shop years ago when we just came living here. And it was gold before, but I painted it gray because then it looks much better at our home. So just leave it this way. 
and I still redecorate the wreath every year around. Every season I do it differently. This was original green Christmas wreath from Ikea, but I painted it silver with spray paint. And now it looks a little bit more, yeah, different to me. More in the style of how I like it. From the hallway, we are going to do the kitchen first, which is in here. Let me just take you around to my tiny little kitchen. But it has everything upon it which we need. Here are the cooking spots with these love pumpkin sign. This was a canvas originally and the frame I will show you a little bit closer. The frame was behind the canvas but I took the canvas off, repainted the whole frame, put a nice background upon it, put the canvas again on the back, printed out some pumpkins with different patterns just from the internet, glued it down with Mod Podge, and put some letters upon it, which I also have from Action. I put some beeswax over those letters so they were originally lighter. And I have a really cute sign to put in here. Well, there's not much going around here. An old cafe sign from Ikea at the back. Now comes a little bit different, different part for me to film. A bit difficult, I must say. I have a tray here, but as you can see I have a lot of backlights, so I'm going to close, close the curtain and then I will be back for the next shot. Now we can see better how the true colors are. This tray comes from Action 2 and I painted it black, it was wooden color before. And let me just show what is in there, an artificial fern in the back from Ikea. You also see a basket full of kitchen utensils. And then we have this really cute, well, you can put a tea light in there if you want to, but a really cute, cute mushroom house with a ladybug upon it. Then I have some pumpkins, an apple, and basically, oh, my reflection here with the lamp. This is such a difficult thing to film. This is the best angle I can get. Uh, two foxes with some greenery, leaves, and apples in the lantern. So that is a really cute vignette, and I have also a small wreath here. Not much special this year for this wreath. Just used two leaves and that is it basically. Okay, let's move on to the dining area. Here we have the dining area and also my computer area. Because we have an apartment with just two rooms, one bedroom, one living dining room. So I have a wreath, which I redecorate every year, and also a tray. Let's do the tray first. Same IKEA lamp. Again, it's in the whole way, I have the same. Let's start off here. I put the lamp upon one of those wreaths which I bought from the garden center. I also put some stone pumpkins, some artificial apples, and some leaves in the front. The red is a pillow cover, which I bought from Action 2. I really don't know the price anymore, sorry. And here we have a vignette with another Ikea fern. All artificial. I don't have real plants at home because they keep dying every time. Okay, this is better. Now you can see better what true colors that those things have. Also from Action, really Jenny and I bought everything from Action. The trays from Action 2. I have new ones now, thanks to Jenny. And these squirrels are, I think, three or four euros. I'll paint for them. Because this is a squirrel tray. I also have a squirrel house. Look how cute he is. Together with a mushroom, some apples in here. I keep my coasters. Put it all upon some sheepskin. And then this is what you get. It really makes this good with the wreath. I hope I can keep the camera a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit to... Yeah, this is better. Okay, in the wreath I've been using, you can see it here, the orange uh, fabric from the Garden Center roll. Some pumpkins again from Danielle's Decor. Leaves, apples. Here are those really cute branches. We don't find those in an island, so we are really thankful that Danielle sent them to us years ago. We really keep using them each year. And my deer, what do we have here? The same deer as over and over again. Zoom a little bit more so you can see the whole thing. And I put some lights in there. You can hopefully see it. It is in the middle of the day right now, so the light is at its brightest. 
But trust me, I really need that to film properly in here because otherwise you don't see the colors, unfortunately. Okay, well, that was the dining area part. Let's now move over to the fireplace. Unfortunately, I don't have a real fireplace in this small home. So I found these electric ones years ago, but the light inside is pretty bright as you can see here. So I really love that one and I decorated the mantel with trees, pumpkins, leaves, apples. Really, these ones were really bargains here, this one here, these three. Those packages came from the garden center too and they had such good prices. Now, large plastic pumpkins, also from Daniel's Decor, because you don't find them either here in the Netherlands. Daniel and I are really looking forward to see Dollar Tree holes and stuff like that. We don't find things here. Okay, a little bit more down. We have a smaller vignette. This is the same tray, uh, tray as I have upon the dining area, but this one is really small. Here are those things again. I keep them on every table, except from the dining table then. This is the fox part. Family fox is here. One is sleeping, two are sitting, and one child is awake. And on the background have some pumpkins on the left, a red one and an orange one. And here, this one is really large. You can see it a little bit from a closer angle. This one is made out of fabric. Jenny bought it. I think years ago from Xenos, also a shop, well, for home decor goods. And uh, normally we really don't care much about that stuff, but this one was really cute, so... Yeah, she said, do you want to land it? Because the colors are exactly the same as I have at home. Let me see it. This is the couch. And this plate is new. And the orange pillow cover is too. The red one I already had at home. So... But before we go to the dining area, I want to show you this part here first. The cabinet. The left one is closed, the right one is open, and I redecorate it every year. Here, for the ones for following us a little bit longer, I made this wreath out of clothes pins. You can see them here. I put it on cardboard to get a really, really together again. Do it again, again. <laughs> together with a really great burlap bow. Up here I put pillow covers always upon top of my cabinet. I have two great cloches filled up with, as you can see, a squirrel, hedgehog and a big mushroom. Did the other thing on the other side, the same thing. So we have two even sides. Now let's move in. I'm going to keep the light out now because you can see it pretty good. This is what the display looks like without artificial light coming from the camera. That is because I place really tiny spots in this cabinet. They're originally meant for your Christmas village. Let me show you a sneak peek. Covered one up here. As you can see the wires go totally up. And here is a spot just put it together to the closet with the sticky gum. And now you always have really cute light in your cabinet. The lights are movable. So you can adjust them to your scene, which you have. Now I'm going to bring the light back in because we, we need it if we're going to zoom in. Here we are. This is the top scene. Let's start from left to right. You can see the spot in the back. I covered up uh, a battery pack on the left with some leaves together with, again, those apples and some more leaves. By the way, Jenny and I use uh, artificial grass sometimes. And I cut these to size to fit in my cabinet, so the whole area here is covered. Actually, every level of the cabinet is covered. Whoops, I'm so sorry, the camera fell out. I guess the battery was empty again. I didn't saw that one coming, sorry for that. Uh, where were we? I think in this corner. In the back you see artificial Ikea uh, plants. And on the front there are pumpkins, apples, and some uh, mushrooms. Well, that was the top section actually. Oh, I forgot the most... Beautiful one. This DIY made out of wood. I went to the Hobby Lobby website, found something like this, redraw it on board, painted it and put some letters upon it together with some greenery. I put some berries and some greenery leaves upon it with the glue gun. 
And also here at the section between the brown and the orange part, I put some twine. Put a, a little block on the back so this thing can stand up by itself. Yeah, that's the top section. Let's move over to the middle one. Here you see my all-time favorite, the clock. It was black before, but I spray painted it silver, I think, one or two years ago. And I decided to leave it this way because it really brightens up the cabinet. Well, here we have a cloche with the mushroom. Leaves in the back, apples, this wooden plateau. Here is Mr. Fox together with its house. And the wreath again in the back. Nothing much special about this level. Then moving down. Oh, yeah, you see here a big basket with uh, a pillow cover coming out of it. These baskets are pretty old. They, I got them from Jani, and I believe they belong to her mother. Yeah, and the quality is pretty good, so I'm really happy with those. I reuse them every year. Also really good standard for the Christmas village to put houses on top. That's also where I'm using it for. On top I have some, uh, here you see a yellow pumpkin. Let me move out the light a little bit. No, it still is white. Well, it is yellow, sheer yellow. Red and brown, one within the wreath. Here are flowers, one pumpkin and a little vase, mushroom, and that was pretty much it. So let me show you, well I can't show it in one shot, but just like this. Really has a warm look. Also, don't forget the top section of the cabinet. Let's move on to the living area. This is the living area. I'm filming this way because in this way you can pretty see, or you can see how pretty the colors combine together. The blankets with the pillow covers. The paintings, of course. And here is the salon table. Also have some fur here. And a tiny little candle. This one smells like cookies, but I love the brown color. This one is perfect for the fall season. This is, I believe, a cheap copy of Yankee Candle. Got them from Lil. Yeah, the supermarket. Uh, I believe one and a half year ago. Or was it two? I forgot. Don't know if that's the same thing with you, but COVID makes me feel like my social life stopped for one and a half years or something. Anyway, these were five euros. A medium Yankee Candle jar here cost 30 euros. So, uh, really, I uh, stocked my uh, storage room with some of these darlings here. Also, have a green one, which smell like Christmas tree. White ones were vanilla and cookie. Really sweet. This one is sweet too, but a little bit more spicy. And I also have a red one, which smells like cinnamon and berries. So, there's more fresh one. Over to the vignette. These darlings are here again. Now you can see the colors better than in the hallway. The fern together with the mushroom house for the hedgehog family, some coasters. This one is from Action as well. Look how cute this one is here with the mushroom on top. Now let me move over to the other side of the table. It's already a little bit wobbly. This angle is better for filming, otherwise I get too close to the candle. Stone pumpkins, all from Action. And here you see the house with a really cute tiny hedgehog on top. I repainted the red one, by the way, from the mushroom. It was more brighter red, but I repainted it so that it fits in perfectly with the pillow cover. So this is where we sit at evening. Here we are in front of the window, and I want to show you these cute candles. Oh, camera. Of course, the sun gets shining so bright now. These candles are brown-orange. Here I have a clock, which I transformed into a sign. And here we have sheep, you might remember them. The feet are made out of clothespins, the body is cardboard, and I used yarn to make the body wool part. And this one is in perfect symmetry. Really cute, if you ask me. Now we're almost at the end of the home tour, and I can't wait to show you these darlings in front of the fall Christmas tree.
This one is a DIY made out of wood. It's also inspired by a Hobby Lobby object. And here we have the pumpkin again. Now, let's move up to the Christmas tree. First, let me film it in one part. This thing is tall, 2 meters and 10 centimeters. Starting at the top, really huge pumpkin. This is the largest one we got from, oh, sorry, Danielle's decor. Combined with yellow branches, yellow, more orange actually. Here are berries, pine cones attached to a wooden string, so they won't wrap completely around. And here I have a really cute red apple. This one is darker red and fits more together with the darker red pillow covers. Well, you see a lot of leaves. These hanging wooden ornaments we bought at a Christmas sale, put bee wax upon it and now they look more antique. What do we have here? This part is better for filming, I suppose. More berries, leaves, apples again. Now we're going all the way down. And here you see the entire tree compared to the TV corner. Pretty awesome if you ask me and it blends in all together so nicely. I'm really happy with my fall home this year. And I hope you had fun watching our home tour. Write down in the comment section what you think of it. And Jenny and I hope to see you back again in our next video. Bye everyone!